the attack reverse. Well, I started a second one, the Deck Master, where I review card games, review card games in certain sets of different sets, tech decks, what you need, what you don't need, etc., etc. Today's episode is the importance of dice. Okay. Here are your dependent dice. I have more in here, if you like. Um, do I have to pay this so tight? Okay. Okay. You have different kinds of dice are used for different kinds of card games, right? So you have your D6s. I have all of these things over here, as you can see, these X's. Um, this one over here is gorgeous, by the way, it's translucent, so it's cooler like that. Um, like I said, different kinds of dice are for well, different card games. You can use the tens if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, the obvious is over here. D20s, I have a lot of D20s. Um, if you don't think you can use it for D&D, might as well use it for magic, because why not? Let's see, where are they? Where are you, my... Yeah, I have a lot of D20s. Okay. That all of them? No, it's all of them. Um, wait, not quite. Okay. These are basically all the D20s I have. And yes, I do use them. Um, again, these things are for. You can use it for magic. You can use these sixes. I have a lot of these too, including Munchkin dice. Don't use the Munchkin dice because they bounce like crazy, especially if you, if it's on a floor that matches the dice, like this. If you're gonna, yeah, drop this on a black floor. You will not find it. Trust me. Um, you have yes. For Pokemon, all these nice D6s. If you can't use it for D&D, again, try magic. Try this. No one's gonna see. Um, this, uh, what the fuck is? Um, yeah, the red numbers. Eh. Ow. Um, yeah, uh, bread numbering. Nice, isn't it? Anyways, and, uh, no, it's about, okay. Yes. So, what was I? Ah. Uh, D20s for magic, D6s for Pokemon, D10s for Yu Gi Oh! You can use D2s if you want to see who goes first, heads or tails or whatever. Uh, you could take, you can do D6 for rock, paper, scissors. Um, yeah, do four, six. Uh, mm, um, if you take the number and divide it by two, then yes. Possibly. Oh. D6s can also be used at Yu-Gi-Oh! Because some cards require rolling a six-sided dice. Oh yeah, look at this. That's a one. Or, if you're feeling festive. Now, D4s. Um, D4s have a very infamous name. Because these things are called the cow drop dice. Cow drop dice. Reason why? Because, um, well, you ever stepped on a Lego in a dark room? 
step on these. Yeah, barefooted. They hurt. I dropped a few. I couldn't find any. Guess I found them. Stepped on it. Yes, they're painful. Oh, there's another one. If they're game science dice, yeah, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt bad. Really, really bad. Um, this one's not that great either because it's red and gold numbering. Yeah, you're not gonna like that too well. If you have the munchkin dice, again, don't use these if you wanna lose them on purpose. There's like 10 of these. Oh, these are real annoying. Because uh, it blends in with everything, look. Where is it? Where is it? You can't see it. It's, it's gone. It's... You can't even see this. Look, you can't even find it. I mean, look, look. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's right there. Da. Um... Again, there's more here. Tiny little buggers. Uh, is that all of them? Yeah. I'm looking at munchkin dice. These things bounce like hell. Like, these things will bounce at least two feet. <laughs> On tile. I should not. I should not. <clears throat> I should know. Excuse me. Um, okay. These are all the dice I use for card games. Was a D20 I was using. Ah. Missed two. Uh, aside from all of that, ah, my D2s. Where my D2s at? The red Zola coin. How do you? How do you? Oh, here it is. Uh. Yeah. The side. These are all the dice I use for for card games. Again, I take all. Generally, I don't exactly use these translucent ones unless I want to play D and D. They're great for that. I mean, they're bold, badass. They are badass. <laughs> badass. Um. These are my very first set of polyhedra dice. They're plain purple and they're white numbering. They're like purple dice, they're like the best ones ever, in my opinion only. Um, what else I got here? Na, 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 na. YouTube's content ID, such major nads, and I huh. stick to that. Uh, what I say about these sixes? Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. D tens, Yu-Gi-Oh if optional. Well, it is optional. Um, I have white ones. Oh, there's the. Don't want to lose that either. Uh, where's the other D? Uh, these are the ones I use for card games. These I use the most because they contrast with my cards and they're great for that. These are my... It's also the other dice I use for counters. Let's say I'll get the deck boxes and and uh, sleeves next episode. But this is just an example. Let's see. Um, Okay, let's see. Let's try this. Um, I'll go over tokens too, maybe. What's another one? Where's Vesca, 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 Vesca? Here you are. And um, where's the guild mage? Okay. Let's see, these would be. Uh, I have to zoom in a little more. 
new and out in. All these things are red already. Crap. Um, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> okay, that's better. Um, let's see. For him, let's see for the Cross of Guild Mage. Yeah. Drop four, okay. Drop four, and this happens. Sacrifice a creature, anyone you choose, to land. Let's say we'll call we'll call this a creature for now. Okay, get rid of that. It is smoted by your hand. Bring in a sapperling equal to the number of these equal to the creature's toughness, right? What if you did something involving Bioman? What if you involve? What if you did something involving that it had? Eh, I don't know. You did something, and all of a sudden you got ten tokens on the field. Ten. Where are you? Yes. Let's just say that there's ten. Out of ten, was an eight now. Okay, let's do a stupid piece of crap. Well, there we go. That is a 10. Darn it, no. Yeah, that's a 10. Um, yeah, 10 of these. Why is it all mirrored and crap? Yeah, well, ten of these. Okay, swing for ten. Of course, you know, block it. You might lose. I might use a couple. Or let's say with Braska again for magic, you can put on loyalty points. Take away seven loyalty points, and you get three one one black assassin creature tokens and. Yes. Three of these, okay? Three. Because. Because three are. Awesome. Yes. They are pretty awesome. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. Did I mention Frasca's tokens can win games instantly? Like, instantly? Yeah, I think I'm kidding. These things win games. Attack the player and a prison block. Eh, he dies. Plain simple. And that goes. This goes for our first episode of the Deckmaster. Yes, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want. Eh, whatever floats your boat. Whatever smokes your boat. <laughs> Float your boat, smokes your friend, whatever. I don't care. Eh, put Vraska. The beautiful Vraska. Put her back where she belongs in my deck. And again. Here's all my favorite dice. Here's. Yeah. Here's all the dice I use, and bye-bye.